What's happening, everybody? Trey here, joined by my dad, Sean, and today, Reactions to the Classics. We are going to get our Steve Miller band on, and I uh, want to shout out Seals for uh, our longtime friend and patron of the channel for suggesting this one. As you can see at the bottom, we're going to be checking out Space Cowboy, and that's going against the short and sweet tune, Gangster of yes. Love. So, uh, looking forward to... Uh, to, to dive into this one. Yeah, Seal says for May, because that's when we're filming this. I don't know when you're watching it, but I give you my first foray into the Steve Miller band. One thing I like about them is how they reference their other songs in their songs. Mm. The two songs I have, both of which are referred referenced in The Joker, along oh, with Enter Maurice. In fact, Space Cowboy also references Gangster of Love and yet another song called The Living mm. in the USA, so it all ties together. So we're going to start with Space Cowboy from the Brave New World album all the way back in 1969. Right. Their third studio album. Love the works up as always. Thanks again. Seals. Already got the shout out. Let me tell you people that I found a new way, and I'm tired of all this talk about love. And the same old story with a new set of words. It sounds way like 60. Oh, yeah. I'm liking the, uh, the vocals. Times keep on changing, so I'm keeping on top of every bad cat who walks through my door. Of a space cowboy. I didn't expect a, a psychedelic twist right here from what I know of Steve Miller, man. Space Capital Trap. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect that. <laughs> Produced by Glenn Johns. Let's go. Trip dreamers better find something new to say. The 
Tells you the same old story, it's the same old crime, and you got some heavy dues to pay. I'm the space cowboy, bet you weren't ready for that. I'm the space All right, Space Cowboy. I'd never heard that song. I only know a few songs by the Steve Miller band, but you know, you mentioned it, Trace, kind of what you talk about it, you know, the, the psychedelic realm. But I did mention it definitely sounds late 60s ish, mm-hmm. you know, which I know the Steve Miller band stuff from just a little bit after this. But uh, what you think of it? Yeah, I, I enjoyed it, man. Definitely. And with that late 60s psychedelic, uh, you know, influence of right. music, like Good guitar there's, work. No, there's nothing that sounds like it to this day. I no. mean, obviously, psychedelic music is still being made, but not in this uh, particular yeah. vein right here. It definitely has that vintage um, type of a vibe to it, just whenever I'm listening to yeah. it. And I, the only Steve Miller band stuff I know is from Fly Like an Eagle. Um, I know that whole album, but, uh, you know, that's more in the, um, I don't know, traditional classic rock right. type yeah. game. Whereas this, yeah, it definitely had, um, this is like know, classic rock crossed with psychedelic. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I was, uh, you know, pleasantly surprised by that. We had, um, a nice, uh, guitar solo towards the end there, some really impressive drum fills as well. And just, uh, kind of that, uh, smooth, um, almost, uh, uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash inspired vocal delivery. I yeah, think a little a bit there. It was just really uh, easy on the ears, and um, you know, obviously, Dad at the time. How many times do you come across stuff from you know this time period where you know they're talking to space, right? That is uh, one yeah, of the it major big. Yeah, it became a big thing. And I'll tell you, what, if I'd known this song when I was younger, I liked the second line. Don't you know that I'm a gangster of love? Like I would have used that as a pickup line. I said, Hey. My name's Sean. Don't you know that I'm a gangster, a gangster of love? Gangster of love. And that's a great segue. It is. And I wasn't even purposely trying to set that up because we have Gangster of Love next from Sailor in 1968. So it comes from a year before the song we just listened to, right. obviously, since it was referenced in it. It's a blue song recorded by Johnny Guitar Watson in 1957. That's his nickname, Guitar. So it's pretty easy to figure out what he does. He uh, re-recorded the song in 78. It became a hit. It's perhaps Watson's best-known song, and several artists have recorded interpretations. In an album review for this, though, for the Steve Miller Band, uh, in all music, Amy Hansen said, uh, Miller's Sailor is the LP that introduced many to the Johnny Guitar Watson classic Gangster Love, a song that would become almost wholly Miller's own, giving the fans an alter ego to caress long before the Joker arose to show his hand. In 1973, the Joker, which is a song that, Everybody oh yeah, was. was his first number one hit and included the line. Some call me the gangster. Well, so maybe, maybe Steve already had this. And if I started <laughs> using this in the mid eighties, he might've come after me. Get that organ uh, humming. Yeah, let's go. in my El Dorado Cadillac. I happen to stop up at the 7-Eleven to get some Twinkies or something, you know. I'm bound to run into some little girl out there who just says, you don't look like no gangster to me, man. That's when I got to pull up my collar, put on my shades and get down. I 
hit them with one of these, I just look at them, my baby blue eyes, and I go. Don't do it to him, Steve. child and dug it to their graves. I'm the gangster. Stevie Guitar Miller in a very deep voice and I say yes sir brother sheriff and that's your wife in the back of my horse I'm a gangster man <laughs> man gangster of a uh, pretty good one there trey i mean you know uh they'd, they'd get canceled nowadays both guitar <laughs> watson and steve miller for all that you know but you know the, all the up. women in the back you know well and i mean if you can't get them with your being a gangster you can uh, get them with the twinkies so that might get you in a little Dude. bit of trouble steve but uh, yeah. <laughs> really good guitar work there. no for sure uh the the organ was quite lively too and humming throughout um i, I believe the what we listened to was a, a live version you yeah, know so that's the uh, only one available out there uh so that was uh yeah i, I thought they uh, they knocked it out of the the park and you know it's, uh, steve um, you know, kind of brought a bit of his, uh, his charisma to it, uh, and, you know, especially in whenever he got into the more storytelling yeah. mode right there. And, you know, shout out to the Twinkies. They're great. Um, I have them right behind the Ding Dongs and the Honey Buns and the, uh, and in the, the Hostess, and the you hostess, know. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, we listen to, like, if you look at the version on Spotify, it's only a minute 20 something. Um, this one's an extended version that Seal sent to us. So, uh, now I guess we get to a winner. What do you have on this? I mean, it really is because there's definitely a, a, a quite a difference in the genre. Yeah, this I'm, I'm going to go with Space Cowboy um, just because I, I thought that the uh, the instrumentation was on point. I, I did like the uh, the lyricism and you know just that vintage psychedelic uh, late '60s right. vibe. So that's getting my vote. Yeah, I mean, 100 percent agree. Space Cowboy is by far the better song. I'm going to go with Gangster yeah. Wall just because it <laughs> makes me laugh. And I, I mean, it's just different than anything else that is, is out there. So. Uh, really good battle, like I said. Thank you, Seals, for bringing that one. And uh, if you'd like to support us anyway, have us do a song battle, song reaction, album reaction. We do all kinds of stuff. Check out the Patreon link below or the patron link on the end screen. And that'll do it from uh, us today. So until next time, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.